Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thank you for joining us this Wednesday morning. And we thank Greta Pobleski for joining us this morning as well from Looney Spoons making a carrot cake pancake, which is in her new book. It's called Yum Yummer. And you showed me a handful <laughs> of recipes from Yum and Yummer. And I've said yum to pretty much everyone. <laughs> you did. And that's where the name came from. I was posting my food photography on Facebook and people were writing yum, yum, yum. And then one lady wrote yummer. And there's just the way that I read it made me laugh. And I decided to go with that for the title of the book, Yum and Yummer. So it's how Healthy eating, easy, common ingredients that you find at your local grocery store. Something I've been doing for 20 years, really. Yes. You've been doing this forever, but you've advanced this. And this is such a great idea because on every recipe, there's a little barcode here. Yeah. And what happens when you scan the barcode? You scan it with your smartphone and a one-minute video plays right in your hand showing you how to make the recipe. And they're fun and snappy. They're set to music tracks. They have graphics. And it's the first time that's ever been included in a cookbook for every single recipe. Incredible. So just trying to kind of combine the physical world of cookbooks and the digital world. Into yes. one. That makes it easy for people because, yeah. you know, sometimes we want both. Let's and, get cooking. And inspirational, too. Sometimes people just need inspiration. What I'm hoping is if you have guests over the holidays that are overnight or you want to do a special Christmas morning uh, brunch, that you try these carrot cake pancakes. So all it is, the dry ingredients is whole wheat flour and white flour mixed together. Mm -hmm. Then your basic baking powder, baking soda, and salt, okay? And then the spices that make it taste like carrot cake, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. So maybe I'll get you to take this whisk and uh, mix those around while sure. I do the wet. Okay. So when we're talking about the wet ingredients, we're gonna start with fully cooked uh, carrots. Now you wouldn't normally do that in a carrot cake, but with pancakes, they cook so quickly, you need the carrots to be cooked ahead of time. Otherwise okay. you're gonna have crunch in your pancakes and we don't want that, right? Right. So mixed with buttermilk, which sounds like it's loaded with fat, but it's not, mm -hmm. okay? And then we have vanilla, a little bit of maple syrup because I like to sweeten things naturally and an egg and just two tablespoons of oil. Remember your grandma's carrot cake recipe had the one, More than and, a, that. one and a half cups of oil. That's why it was so delicious, you but you, you really don't need it in this recipe. So I'm gonna borrow your whisk there mm -hmm. and just whisk this together. And we should mention that in the book, you also do flour combinations that are gluten-free. You yes. also have dairy-free options for people. Yeah, 80% of Yum and Yummer is gluten-free, and that's because that's what people are asking me for now. There's a lot of vegetarian, but I also do chicken and beef and pork as well, something for everyone. Yeah. So in the wet goes into the dry. Okay, so this is just sort of your typical way of making pancakes. It's just the combination of ingredients that's gonna make it healthier and really tasty and taste like carrot cake. And then, you know, carrot cake, of course, has the high fat cream cheese icing, which we all love. Yeah. So I, ne I needed to create something to duplicate that. So in front of you there, I have Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. and you're just gonna mix in the uh, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and then there's a little bit of grated orange zest. Beautiful. So we put that on top of the pancakes. Okay. And, and that's going to yeah, and that's going to imitate the cream cheese icing. So these are ready to go on uh, the griddle. And what I like about this recipe is uh, carrot cake pancakes take what five minutes to make on the griddle, and carrot cake in the oven takes about 45. So this is a lot faster. Easy if you're feeding a big group of people. I know. And you've had a tremendous feedback. Well, congratulations a on being a bestseller. Thank that's you. That's incredible. And on top of that, people have been giving you feedback with only five weeks in the book being out. Yeah, actually, I have, I think on Amazon, I have 45 five star reviews, which really blows me away because the book hasn't been out very long. But I think it's just easy recipes that taste good, that are healthy, and the visual with the pictures and the video is really catching on. So those are just going to flip after two minutes. We're going to get our big stack. This is not a single serving although I'm sure I could eat it. And then you're gonna take that maple orange topping with the Greek yogurt, and you're gonna slather it on top, yum, yum, yum. Then we're gonna do a little bit of maple syrup, of course, who isn't going to like this, oh. and some nuts. We're all gasping over here, Greta. <laughs> right, a little bit of coconut if you want. I also put coconut and walnuts into the batter. You can add them or not add them, it's totally up to you. I feel like it makes it taste more like carrot cakes, so I don't know if anybody in the studio is hungry, but I'm thinking at some point we're going to have to eat these. Everybody around <laughs> here is drooling. It smells I, good. It smells so good, and it looks good as well. Yum and Yummer is the book. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Thank you. 